Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter. I am in my shop again and we are getting ready to move outside to the back porch and I'm going to start working on the forge project. I'm going to do the final cure and the final burn, uh, test burn on it. And the forge we're going to be doing actually belongs to a friend of mine. I've built two of them side by side. So this is your forge, Dana. And I just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, Dana Collins at ArmySurplusWarehouse.com. He's the one that provided me with the canisters and a lot of the tubings and the hose and the fittings for the uh, burners that I built. So, thanks man. My Aircrete Forge. What's kind of interesting is uh, the Portland cement and water glass all cracked up, but underneath I mean, you can see in there that that cement's going red hot. It's not cracking or anything. You can see the holes I drilled in the concrete in the bottom that I filled with water glass. Um, it held up good in a rocket stove, but man I mean the wall on the inside here I'll move that brick it's glowing red hot and it it looks so good it's not cracked it's beautiful aircrete a wonderful thing you know what's crazy guys, it's a red hot inferno inside. The insulative properties of Aircrete is in frickin' credible. Wow, starting to... Okay, and this is the soft steel. Earlier, I just had this thing glowing red, and I tried a new thing. I tried to put my seal coat on before um, curing it out with a good burn. Every other thing, even on the uh, <clears throat> even on the rocket mass stove, I always did this seal coat after it already burned, and it worked great. It didn't end up working great when I put the seal coat on before I burn it. Just when you make a refractory mix out of it, go ahead, uh, saturate it with the water glass, let it dry, and then don't try and seal it first. Just put a burn on it and then reseal it again. You can see there's a nice little like eighth inch or quarter inch. It's kind of gray around the inside. I mean you can see the definite difference what happens is the water glass will soak into that and it'll uh, make a perfect really good seal and you can just put a light dusting of Portland cement and it doesn't crack it doesn't go anywhere but if you try and do it before it just isn't working you can see the holes where I drilled in the bottom now what I'm going to do is after I get this seal coat on, and you'll see how fast it soaks in. It's crazy. Once you eat this stuff. So Dar? Yeah. I know that you're busy and you can't have this right now. But I made it for you and it will be waiting for when you're done. I made some old-fashioned tapioca. Oh, you can't have it right now. You have to finish what you're doing. I'm done. Hit stop. Wow, I just poured a big old puddle down there. It just soaked it up so fast. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, 
Okay guys, we're just uh, giving the forge a little bit of a cure burn for the, uh, woo, that thing is just bright orange in there, boy. I have it on pretty high, but I'm just curing out the water glass that I just put on. Zoom in on that. Woo. That's just, you can see the white flame just roaring out of the torch. I got the torch sitting in there. You guys remember that? That's a torch head of my own design. I haven't seen another one like that. It is just glowing in there right now. I probably have done enough to cure out that water glass. I should shut it down. I'm going to shut it down and we'll see how much it keeps glowing after I shut it down. <laughs> wow! What? For all those people who thought I couldn't get aircrete to take heat, woo! They can go pound sand. <laughs> yeah, I think that works pretty dang good. Look at that. I shut it off and it's still just staying glowing hot. I wonder how long it'll glow like that probably a good long time and what's crazy guys is it's hot like that on the inside and look I can touch the outside the insulative properties of aircrete is in freaking insane I mean that is just crazy crazy I don't know how long that's going to glow. I'm not going to stand here. But, uh... Woo! <laughs> I think the refractory mix worked out. What do you think, Dana? Thank you, Dana Collins. Thumbs up. Armysurplus.com. He got me all this awesome line that we plumbed over to the tank, the valve, the canister, the... That used to be a high explosive canister. Hey guys, I am super excited. I think this project went very well. I would call it a 100% success. I There has been a lot of people who are wondering if I could create a refractory mix out of uh, aircrete. But boy, I, I think I kind of nailed it. And uh, it got super hard after we let it cool down on that second uh, application of the water glass. And I am really happy with it. So I'm going to finish this forge up, paint it, make it look super cool so it can just fit right on a nice steel table bench uh, in my shop. And one's going to go in Dana Collins' uh, blacksmith shop as well. And... Uh, Man, if, if this is a project you're interested in, a project you want to do, I would go ahead and check out our Etsy store. We're on Etsy at the Honeydew Carpenter Shop, and I actually have the mix designed for that refractory uh, up and for sale right now. And I think it's only a few bucks, so it's, it's worth it. It took me a long time to get it right. 